seems like the whole damn world's gone crazy. But it's just me. Well, it's just me. Hey there, hon. What can I get you? I'll get a coffee, Black. All right. It's been a long night. No, I ain't judging. You coming from the hospital? How'd you know? Well, we get nervous folks coming in all the time. And judging by your sweaty, shaky hands, I'd say there's a bundle of joy that's about to be here. You're doing all right, though. Some handle it better than others. You see that guy over there? He's having triplets. Oh, Lord, have mercy on his soul. So what are you having? A girl. Just one. You have a name for her yet? Oh, well, don't worry. It'll come to you when it's time. Here. Sugar always makes me feel better. I never thought I would see my brother in such distress. You really do know when to make an entrance, don't you? <sighs> so I've been told. Well, just gonna sit there or are you gonna join me? Upset you already. Must be a record. Please, please, not now. So, what are you doing? I'm tired. I want to be alone with my coffee. Everyone always uses being tired as an excuse. It's not an excuse. I just don't want to talk to you at this very moment. So it's an excuse. Whatever. Can you get me an OJ? What? Orange juice. Duh. Can you get me one? Why would I do that? I'll leave if you get me one. <sighs> Can I have an orange juice? Hey, stop. You're gonna break it. <sighs> this is my favorite song. <sighs> Why'd you make me get you a drink if your legs work just fine? That's my back. I'm just gonna sit down. <laughs> You're so annoying, you know that? So what now? Are you gonna leave? You thought it was gonna be that easy to get rid of me? You aren't gonna leave until we talk. Huh? Well, just a little chat. I mean... Okay, fine. What do you want? I want updates. What about you? What about me? Why are you in this diner at 2 a.m.? 
Aiden, come on, I'm not throwing you a curveball here. I don't know. Of course you know. It's the biggest moment of your life. While you're sitting here, Layla is in the hospital across the street having your child. I know that, okay? It's... I just have a lot going through my mind. Yeah, then let's talk about it. I don't need to talk. Aiden, you're about to step foot into a whole new world. You're about to become a father. Do you know what that means? Because it's a big deal. And I can handle it. Are you sure? Why would I say I can handle it if I couldn't handle it? I'm ready. How long have you been telling yourself that? Excuse me? I think you're lying. To me, to yourself, face it, you're terrified. You just want to hide from the truth. Who are you to tell me how I think? No, fuck it. I'm leaving. Aiden, sit down. No, I'm not going to hear your shit right now. Yep, just keep on shutting everyone out like a coward, just like Dad. Oh, oops. Did I let that slip? Don't you fucking compare me to Dad. I'm not. I am nothing like him. Sure, just don't leave, Sid, please. You can have your seat back if you want it. Your gates are higher than I thought. <laughs> uh, I know what you're doing. What am I doing? I'm trying to get under my skin and start something. What if I was? Wouldn't be a surprise. That's what you do. You're a manipulator. That's an interesting take. It's the truth. You think I'm here to manipulate you? I... No, I'm, I'm here to help you. You're just too ignorant to see that. There is nothing you could possibly help me with. Really? Not one thing? No doubts? No fears? No secrets? Nothing? What makes you think that there's something wrong with me? Well, besides that precious ego of yours... Son of... How about a refill? You know, you're not exactly perfect yourself, so stop acting like you know all the answers. Come on, Aiden. What? We all know what's really going on here. You're just trying to take out your jealousy on me. Are you even hearing yourself right now? Crystal clear, actually. Dude, why are you being so defensive? Just let me in so I can help you. Why don't you just leave and stop trying to ruin my life? The only one who can do that is yourself. I don't know. My life was quite perfect before you showed up. No, Aiden. Don't away to me. Why is everything about you? Because it's my life. We're talking about my life. The only one that actually has any significance. Well, have you even noticed that over the past few minutes you've only talked about yourself without really acknowledging what's truly at stake here? And what's that? Your wife and your daughter, Aiden. You know, that is your problem. <laughs> You're too selfish. There are people who actually care about you in this world, whether you like it or not. You are the last person that should call me selfish. Don't change the subject. What happened about a year ago, huh? You just decided to check out of the family, even though you were the only person that I had. We don't have to talk about this. Did you even take a second to think about how that would affect us? How that would affect me? It felt like my only option. But it wasn't, okay? We were here for you. We were fucking here for you, but you didn't even give us a fucking chance. Believe me, I tried. Countless times. Dad always said I was too sensitive, so I couldn't talk to him, and you... You could have talked to me! You could have talked to me! I did go to you. Because you were the only person I thought would understand. 
but you were too busy with your career to listen to what I had to say. You were the only thing I had. I wasn't thinking about how it would affect other people. I, I, I just wanted to be free. And leaving seemed like the only way to make that possible. Hey, son. So sorry. No help. How can I raise a family if I couldn't even be there for my own? Just follow your gut, okay? I'm sure you'll go down the right path. But what if my path has already been chosen for me? So then change. Be there for your daughter. You have a new family now, Aiden. Whatever happens to them is your responsibility. It's up to you. Is that from our family trip in Denver? Yeah, it is. That was a fun trip. Come to think of it, it was the last time we were all happy. Mom, Dad, you, even me. I really took it for granted, didn't I? Maybe. But you have an opportunity to recreate those beautiful memories with your daughter. You know, you would have been a great uncle. We're closing. Wait, what? We are closing. How am I gonna do this without you? You have so far. All of this wasn't me. It was you. I think it's time. Wait. You okay? Oh uh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Case of change. Keep it. Oh, I thought of a name for my little girl. Oh yeah? What's that? Denver. Denver. It's a pretty name. 